Have you ever noticed your feet or ankles swelling up, making your shoes feel uncomfortably tight, especially after a long day? Well, swelling in the feet and ankles is an issue that affects many people, but most of us do not always know or understand why it happens. You see, while there are many reasons for this swelling, from standing or sitting for too long to heart problems, one of the less known causes could be sitting in your medicine cabinet right now. Yes, that's right. Certain medications we take for conditions like high blood pressure, diabetes, nerve pain, and even common inflammation can have side effects that include swelling of the feet and ankles. That's why it's very important to be aware of these potential side effects. But here's the thing. My mission is not to scare you, but rather to give you the knowledge you need to take control of your health effectively. So, in this video, let's dive into some of the most common medications you may be taking that are known to cause foot and ankle swelling. Jiroso the Farm D here, welcome and please like and subscribe to the channel. The first medication is amlodipine. Now, amlodipine belongs to a class of drugs known as calcium channel blockers, commonly prescribed for high blood pressure and other heart conditions such as angina or chest pain. Interestingly, while it is effective in dilating blood vessels to improve blood flow, amlodipine has a side effect that can be quite challenging. It can cause significant swelling in the feet and ankles. This swelling is due to amlodipine's tendency to cause fluid accumulation in the lower part of the body. And it's something you may notice more with higher doses, especially around 10 mg daily. Now, you may be wondering, what can I do if I experience this swelling? Well, first thing first, communicate with your doctor if you notice any unusual swelling. In addition, there are some simple yet effective strategies you can use to deal with swelling. Try to elevate your feet when sitting or laying down. Exercise regularly to improve circulation and consider wearing compression socks to help reduce inflammation. Number 2. Gabapentin This is another medication that can cause your feet and ankles to swell. Gabapentin is used for many conditions, including nerve pain and seizures. It helps calm nerve activity and provides relief for those dealing with chronic nerve pain or seizures. However, it's important to be aware of one of its potential side effects, peripheral edema. This essentially means you may notice swelling in your feet and ankles. This swelling can be more than just uncomfortable. It can impact your mobility and overall quality of life. In fact, this side effect is not uncommon. It affects up to 8% of gabapentin users. And it's more common in older adults or those on higher doses, typically more than 1,800 mg daily. And this can be really concerning if you have kidney, heart, or liver problems, since it adds extra stress to these organs. Number 3. Pregabalin or Lyrica Now, pregabalin, which is very similar to gabapentin, is used to treat diabetic nerve pain, seizures, and fibromyalgia. It works by slowing down signals in the brain that cause seizures and decreasing pain signals sent out by the nerves that are damaged. However, pregabalin can also cause swelling in the feet and ankles. And get this, clinical studies have shown that about 12% of those taking pregabalin experience this side effect. You see, this side effect is not just a matter of discomfort, but can also cause serious problems, particularly if you have heart conditions such as heart failure. And here's a pro tip. If you are taking the diabetes medication pyroglitazone, you need to have a conversation with your doctor. 
This is because the risk of fluid retention increases when you take both of these medications together. Number 4. Pyroblitazone. This medication is used for type 2 diabetes. Essentially, pyroblitazone works by increasing the body's sensitivity to insulin. By doing that, it helps your body use insulin more effectively and it helps control blood sugar levels. However, as beneficial as pyroblitazone can be for your blood sugar, it has a downside. This medication can cause your body to retain extra fluid, leading to swelling in the legs and ankles. And here's the deal. It's crucial to keep an eye out for any signs of fluid retention, such as swelling or unexpected weight gain. You see, these signs should not be ignored because, if not corrected, this condition could lead to more serious health issues, including heart failure. Number 5. Corticosteroids These are powerful anti-inflammatory medications such as prednisone or dexamethasone used for a wide range of conditions from asthma and allergies to arthritis and autoimmune diseases. While corticosteroids can be incredibly effective in reducing inflammation and suppressing the immune system, they can also cause side effects including increased fluid retention leading to swelling in the feet and ankles. Not only that, but they can also cause swelling in the hands and face. This facial swelling is often known as moon face, which simply means it makes your face look round. This happens particularly when these medications are used over a long period as oral corticosteroids can affect your body's natural balance of salt and water, leading to fluid accumulation in these areas. Now, let's not forget that the list of medications causing swelling in the feet and ankles extends beyond what we have covered in this video. Some other medications that can cause this side effect include birth control pills, NSAIDs such as ibuprofen, and hormone therapy medications like estrogen and testosterone. And there you have it. Remember, knowledge is the key that unlocks the doors to a healthier and happier you. Thanks for watching.